Thanks for spreading those chains to the podcast here on the YouTube and the Clubhouse app. We want to say thank you to both audiences for rocking with us because we wouldn't be where we are without you. So we definitely want to say thank you. We try to bring you nothing but premium content for what's going on on the app and what's also going on across the world. We also bring you our own exclusive content where we have a wide range of debates about sports, politics, music, relationships, all of the above. We are here to serve you. So please like, subscribe, and share our YouTube. Hit the bell at the top for notifications of all our latest videos. You're rocking with the best. Remember, there's only one straight no chases. Man, I think it was on the jail phone. He did the number one no-no, man. You don't be on the phone talking, man. He told her to get rid of that box, man, with that thing thing in it. Yeah, that's but right. But why are y'all surprised? I mean, no, why are we surprising. acting? Why are y'all acting? Oh, excuse me. Good afternoon and good evening, everyone. How are you this today? Hey, how you doing? It's not surprised. It's more like... Why are y'all surprised, though, to my original freaking question? Why are you surprised? Y'all motherfuckers talk on your lyrics. Y'all talk on, I mean, it's like. I'm not surprised. When you go to jail, you should know, my nigga. You never talk in the first shock. That nigga Vincent, Vincent, baby, Vincent, 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 baby, Vincent, baby, Vincent, baby. It's shock. Sheer shock. Like when Suge Knight, when Suge Knight got busted on the phone. I'm not, it's not that nigga surprised me. Shock, how do you not know that? Listen, my question is this. I'm shocked at the shock, right? I'm shocked <laughs> at y'all really trying to act as if, you know, this is, I, I don't get it. It makes no, the math is not math to me. If you were doing some fuck shit, then mm. you need to kind of like accept the fact that you won't have to do some time for some fuck shit if you get caught. Point blank period, right? This is what separates like yeah. real shit from fake shit. You accept the fucking consequences of that shit. Just like if you come on this app and you click into a room and you get like, you know, you uh -oh. get uh, caught doing something else. That's gonna you calling you room, right now. You have to go and get, you get, you, you, you break the rules. You absolutely may get caught up in some crap. It is what it mm. is, right? And you yeah. won't have to take the consequences of, oh, I said something that offended the mod, and now I got to go on time out. Point blank, period. This is no different. This is shit we learned in fucking elementary school. Like, I don't understand this. I don't understand how niggas get they self caught up like that. You on, How are you on the jail phone talking and, and then and, and criminating yourself all at the same time? And you not know that. Like you talking in code, like the police don't know code. Listen, no. I'm not on good authority. Mind the matrix. People talk about how Bobby Schmurdo, they, you know, when that whole GS9 shit went down, right? With GS7, whatever the fucking niggas call themselves. Bobby went and, you know, he took the hit. He took, the, allegedly, you know, he, he took the hit for a lot of fucking people. And most of the motherfuckers, they built the case off not because of his lyrics. They building that shit off of phone calls. Niggas in hospitals talking dumb shit. They, it was like, oh, okay, if you want to get caught up in some shit, then you want to get caught up in some shit. I have to take this phone call. I'll be right back, though. Fact. Yeah, man. Shit, I hear what she said, but I'm shocked. I don't know about y'all, man. I just be like, damn, man. Every time I look up at some motherfucker. On them jail phones, talking too much. Damn. Uh, y'all gotta hear the audio. Y'all gotta go back. Y'all gotta. Y'all gotta. If you ain't heard it yet, you got. I, I think I. Uh, no, I didn't post the actual audio, but I. I, I fact, posted. Right. Um, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked, Vincent. He. He's a rapper. I, I can't expect no rap nigga to, to be a real motherfucker. Like rap. These rap niggas is not real. So I, she's like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not shocked at all. I don't, like I, that part of that part, yeah. But when you go to jail, right? That that's on you. That ain't on them trying to trick you. They tell you that these phone calls are being recorded. They tell you that. I'm shocked at the fact that niggas will still sit down on the phone and incriminate themselves, trying to talk in cold. Like nigga, is you crazy? Like that shit to me, I'm sorry. The snitching part don't shock me whatsoever. Been seeing it all my life. I've been snitched on all that. 
I'm not even talking about that. That's a whole nother situation. But when you go to jail, everybody know you do not talk on them phones. And what does this young man do? He get on the phone. Not only do he talk, he incriminate himself by telling the chick where the, where the item is at. Allegedly. Allegedly. But that's what they got the nigga for. You know what I'm saying? So he had to he had to fold. Well, he was already going to fold, but that really gave him an incentive to fold. <laughs> That's shocking to me. I don't know about y'all. That is shocking to me that niggas still go to jail and snitch on themselves by talking on that phone. Every girl I ever had, like, write me. I'll call when it's important. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And that's in and out. Fuck how the kids do it, how you do it. Every day, good bills taken care of. You straight, cool. If you do that, great. Send me a talk to you later. Love you, bye. The fuck is niggas doing on them phones? That ain't the motherfucking chat line. That's the My, I have a question, though. Anybody that know anything know you don't talk on no facility phone. You don't talk on them phones. Nigga, this ain't no chill. Don't they say when you Yo, make when you pick up the phone and before is. you even make the call, it's said uh, this call is liable was, to yo, be recorded. Boy, you was literally about to every right two to line. three minutes. Every two to three minutes, it reminds you this call is being recorded. This, is this call right is being recorded. Yeah, I don't spoke to that bitch too long. Nigga. Y'all talking about y'all not surprised that they snitching, nigga. We ain't, I ain't even talking about them snitching on other people. I'm talking about niggas go to jail, incriminate they self by sitting there talking on them motherfucking phones. What is, I'm shocked by that. How do you niggas think that shit, you gonna get away with that? Like, niggas is so stupid to me. That's I can say dumb. this. I, I kind of dumb. blame the OGs, Vincent, because there's this, like, wild vacuum, right? And nobody's going home and after they do what they do and say, hey, listen here, young boy, this ain't it. But if you're going to do it, this is what's expected of you. Like, y'all y'all don't have no orientation. I don't know what the fuck y'all do because I ain't outside outside like that. But you understand what I'm saying? Nobody's at least putting people up on game to that way they have information to know how the hell it is. That's a fact. That's a but fact. I'm not even like, I'm not even, I'm like, I'm not even trying to be like, in, in, you know, like. I'm not trying to be an asshole like that. I'm just like, yo, bro, like, if this is what it is, this is the time you're going to be on. Like you said, everybody good, bills paid, everybody alive and counted for. All right, bet. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you face to face, maybe later. Thanks. Thanks. Real shit. And like I said, I just want to, I don't want to focus on the fact that the nigga ratted on the whole organization. Like I said, that's a whole nother conversation. We got to start getting back to our younger generation to when you in jail, do under no circumstances do you talk on that phone about anything that's going to incriminate you. You don't even talk on the phone. Send letters, call when important. Because obviously somebody, we have dropped the ball in my generation on getting niggas equipped to not incriminate themselves when they go to fucking jail. It's one thing when they got information on you. It's another thing when you just hand over information to them. That really, though, you, I mean, you stupid. can't hold another person accountable for you. You got to be accountable for your own actions. And when you're doing these things and these criminal acts, you got to know the, the consequences behind them. So, yes, yes. Listen, Coke Boy, I said that earlier, honey. I appreciate you, like, echoing my sentiments. I appreciate that. My thing is this. <laughs> And I'm going to just, like I said, I, like, yo, y'all need to have, like, orientation meetings or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Like, because. No, no, the, the <laughs> widows, they, they, they <laughs> weed they self niggas. out. They weed they self out. Listen, because it's like, yo, bro, you doing this, you are a liability. How did you, like, I don't know what's going on in the vetting process. Are y'all like just mm. taking anybody that like this just don't make no sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting here like, yo, thank you so much. I I've seen it. It's not only happening on like get the fuck off of social media like as a whole. Stop sending text messages. Stop sending DMs. This shit ain't it. Y'all. Hey, yo, real like, talk. Um, real, real, real people <laughs> in the street don't have no social media. 
At all. At all. Exactly. I mean, like, I was just like trying to be, you know. Welcome to the room, Fat Prophet. Fat Prophet, welcome to the room, sir. Sorry, uh, but just want to welcome my man to the room. Oh hi. You know, I don't know what I don't know what you think about the topic, but I just think it is shocking that niggas still go to jail and incriminate themselves like this. I mean, I, I'll, on be these honest, damn phones. I'll be honest, it's like, you know, we we didn't grow up in the cell phone internet era. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right. these niggas get so hooked and used to the cell phone. <laughs> they they don't I mean I mean I know niggas that do they hold everything transactional on their phone, like nigga, like it doesn't, like, cause they got an Apple nigga, it can't be traced to some shit. I don't know what the fuck these niggas be thinking, bro, to be honest, but they, they addicted to the cell phone and they addicted to talking and they, in the game that they playing, they not in it, they not playing it for money like we was. They playing right. it for popularity. Facts. They playing the game for popularity. We played the game for money. They Yo. playing it for popularity, so the rules are different from the way that, that they playing the game uh. they playing. I mean, you couldn't incriminate yourself on a beeper. Right. No, I mean, you only send <laughs> a certain amount of messages. Right. That's real These shit. Phones are trash, yeah. my niggas. I mean, but the, These like, phones you had, I had this young boy, he called me, he was talking crazy. I hung up on him. So then he called me back FaceTime, answered the phone. He said, yeah, he started talking crazy. I hug up on When I seen him the next time, I slapped the shit out of him. I said, yo, don't talk to me crazy about nothing on no phone. If you want to talk to me, talk to me face to face. And that's it and that's all. He was mad as shit. They, they don't Man. have no respect for the law, bro. You see, the problem mm -hmm. is, is they don't respect the law. They don't believe that the law is really on top of it like they are. Just like niggas that go in the store and still don't believe loss prevention is already in there. Watching they ass. Watching they Already ass. watching you. When you came in the store looking weird, nigga, they already see you. On your they ass. They already following you. They already know what you coming to do. Listen, I'm going to just tell you this. Because, you know, I'm not. I'll be on the outside of shit looking in. Because I ain't got nothing. Share the room, Perry. Share the room. Thank you. Share I room, always room, laugh room. at motherfuckers who be doing smash and grabs at the Apple store. It ain't worth it. Them shit's just bricks. <laughs> <laughs> But listen, not just bricks. Them shits is bricks. They're traceable. They're traceable. Exactly. That is not the thing to steal. That's not the thing to steal. Look, you I'm going to smash and grab. I'm going to, to the jewelry look, store smash and grab. Look, I'm just look, saying, no, but you remember. You can't even steal an Amazon product. You can't even steal an Amazon product. It's, it's registered to the Amazon owner already. But time you steal that product, nigga, you can't even operate it. Listen, this shit is wild. They, you know, because remember, there was this rash of, like, sna smash and grabs at, like, the Apple store. And, I mean, outside of, say, some cases, I'm not telling people what to steal. But the shit that's connectable to a Bluetooth device, that ain't it. You know, there's so many, the between the, IM, the EIN numbers, you really just doing these motherfucking stores a favor by reporting the loss. And they can justify low profit, low profits, right? It's just as dumb as selling lottery tickets, nigga. It really is. Them lottery tickets aren't even registered until they scan them into the system. Exactly. Nigga, you just <laughs> brick the lotto tickets that you can't even cash. <laughs> you got bricks. I mean, the only thing that they're and, and the thing about a stealing an iPhone or stealing any kind of electronic at this point, you got to be moving that shit out the country like ASAP. So if you're not set up like that, you're, you're functioning outside. Man, fucking listen, the crazy All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I beg to differ because I just had this crackhead right down on me. And he ran in the, um, the, um, the, the post, not the postal truck, but the um, FedEx truck, snatched a couple of boxes and came out with a whole box of phones. And he took all them shits to the, um, the kiosks that be accepting used phones. They got cash money for every single one of them. Phones. And I bet you they got his face on the fucking camera. That's the problem. Definitely. Right? Whoever, Definitely got his face ID, on there, though. They got this nigga's and face on the camera. Whoever's ID that he used to do exactly, it. Exactly, to, to sell it. And and that's the and this is the gag. That's why I say, unless you're taking that shit and moving it the fuck out the country, like as soon as you get the fuck out, get that shit out the store, it's worthless. It is not but, even uh, fucking but, but worthless. But you got to remember, a thief is also going to be a scammer, too. So they'll steal this shit just to scam a nigga on the street like it's regular. Oh, yeah, I, 
they'll put it on offer up or any of the sites, nigga, like it's normal and try to scam a nigga. Like that shit is just it ain't no future in the front, my nigga. Like it, it just ain't it, 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 this shit is this shit is new age weirdos that need money. They're not even weirdos. They kids that ain't got no fucking guidance, right? No, nah, I mean it's the work it's, ethic it's, as well, they, though, because it's like savages. It is ridiculous out here. I mean, like okay, they want fucking... something for free because they're entitled and they don't know how to work to get it, and that's just to basically work to get it. That's it. No, nah, they they just, they just don't want to work to get it. They they know how. They just look at working for suckers. Like, oh no, nah, nigga, I can't buy Mary Jeans working the job, nigga. No one give a fuck about no jeans with stars on your booty, my nigga. Like that's not that's not something to go to jail for. for it really jeans, isn't. For some jeans yeah, it that really isn't. homos with. Like these niggas are going to jail for jeans that that these niggas are gay. <laughs> and you know what's funny though? Like what's really funny for that profit is based on the value of the shit, my dude, now you just getting some you getting like some ridiculous ass charges. And now you looking at like, but you know, based off of the resale value alone. So I mean, the math ain't mathing for me. I was just like, yo, I don't want nobody like coming back for my shit. I need my shit like it's mine. But, but I was. tell people all that. What I try to tell brothers all the time is, you know, the number one fight as a black man is to protect your jail record, bro. To protect your protect your life report card. They don't care. If you do the time, they want the fucking record. They want to take away your freedom. Cause once you become a criminal, you're no longer a free man in this world. I you are property of the state. You that shit. You're property of the state. They, they just want. They just want to take your freedom, bro. Once you once you become a criminal, especially with a theft, like theft, even though it could be a misdemeanor, it is one of the worst things that you can have on your life report card. Cause People, when it, when you do finally get your shit together and you have to find a trusted position to do something, they're not going to hire you. Ever. Ever, ever. That's the untold secret. They'll never hire you if you got dishonesty. On, you can sell dope. You can do all kind of shit. But have a robbery. Yep. Have a theft. Have one of these acts of dishonesty on You're your fucked. report card. Misdemeanor or You're not, fucked. nigga, you are fucked. You can't even be a mm-hmm. dumb body. You can't even work a security job, nigga. The easiest mm-hmm. job in the world where you can sit in those empty goddamn parking lot and make a living for your family. You can't even do that no more. Nah, you fucked. They not fucking with you. 7-Eleven, any corporate job, they not fucking with you. You're not insurable. No You're literally a fucking liability. It's wild as hell. Like, you can't be trusted. Liability. Yeah, you lose What's your up, trust Rosetta? for the world. Like, the world don't trust you no more. Nah. And that's that's sad. Hey, yeah, we gotta yeah, get to the hey, we gotta get to the babies, man. We gotta get to the babies, man, to teach them, man. When you go to court, man, under no circumstances do you talk on these fucking phones, man. That's the more important uh, um, issue and message for me. Cause the younger generation, they actually getting to see this shit in more ways than we would have. We would have been able to only see it on TV. If we outside at school, we would have missed uh, a lot of this they, shit. They, they get the to see this shit on a, on a the rappers got our children. Believe it or not, the rappers got our children. We can't bro. blame it, but but, it, but they can only take the a small piece of it. No, nah, we're not we blaming can, I know, the rappers, I know. but they got our kids, though. They got our kids, my nigga. They have our kids. The music industry And we got to get our kids back. We got to get our and kids. We, we got to get our, our responsibility. But, but, but what you got to understand is that young little eight-year-old kid riding in the backseat yeah. of his mom's yeah. car Riding in yep. the backseat of his mom's car while she plays yep. future in that nigga ear all goddamn day. While she plays all the bullshit in his ear all goddamn day. Then, mm-hmm. you know, the father's not really around as much. You feel what I'm saying? Now, Yo, now all that's, you got all this that's kid. True. Yo, fat, can I tell you something? Old, this nigga's nuts. Yeah, that's true. So that's true. Out. That's true. So that is true. Um, the thing is this. You but not all parents eight. do that. Eight is too fucking late, right? You can tell, and and I, you know, work in, I work in, I worked in the education system, I work in social services. You know, you can tell by the, you have until statistically, they say you have until the kid is about either eight or nine years old, right, to determine their absolute future, whether they're going to go to jail 
or they are going to go to college. Shit is fucking wild. That's fourth grade, right? So by the time you're talking about that shit and hearing that shit in eight at eight years old, it really starts in the womb and it starts as soon as they come out of their mama's belly. Okay. You are, you got a decade is a, you know, eight years is a very short period of time to try to like prevent somebody from going to prison. Point blank period. No, but you got to understand the way that the internet has sped up life. A oh, I understand. I get no, it. No, no, I'm saying like a 12 year old these days, or more like a 20 year old to be honest, because their life has been sped up so fast that they they they're not being able to be children. Their life is literally sped up from acting like the Disney characters at first, and everyone thinking it's cute, like oh my kid got personality. No, your kid is imitating what he's seeing on Disney, on TV, and how he how they act. That's what he imitating, and you think it's okay, but now he's not in the Disney no more. He in the But were we not doing that as well? Did we not do that? Did we not do that? No, we didn't have the ability to. I think we did, and I'm going to tell you why. Our, 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 our life was slow and boring. We was outside playing street football, basketball, causing real trouble, shooting at niggas. That was real life. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm of a certain age where... I'll put it this way. By, in terms of chronologically, um, everybody who is a, who was like a, a, we can, would consider a crackhead in the 80s is now a grandparent. Just to give you some kind of context. So if you are talking about, you're literally talking about a generation that oftentimes raised themselves and we are asking people who do not have the skill set for whatever reason to do some shit that they don't that they're not able to do that, that somebody didn't give them. Right. I mean, and the thing is, it's is like absolutely I say, I, irres- I think it's a bit uh, unrealistic I, when you expect. I mean, I say, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I say, I say for myself personally, I was abducted by the music. Um, my parents really didn't have no control over that because they had to work. Now the life right. that our, the, the life that we live when we by ourselves, not saying necessarily by ourselves, but hey, there's only 24 hours in a day, and if your parent works eight of those hours, sleeps for eight of those hours, has to hustle for another eight, you really get like four hours with your parents a day, maybe, mm-hmm. that you actually get access to your parent, that you can actually learn something. And, you know, we can't blame necessarily just the parents. It, it just takes a village, man. It takes to be around great people and to have them around great people so they can see the examples of what they should be doing and what they should be on. It's the, it's the, it's the difference. It's like it's the difference maker because if I'm, if I'm going all the time but I know that the people to the left of my son and the people to the right of my son are responsible great people, I know he's still picking up great things. You know what I'm saying? Individuality has been brought so crazy. And I'll tell you one of the ways how. I'll give you a perfect example. My nephew. My sister had her baby at 14 years old, right? 14 years old. Her whole thing with my nephew her whole time, she never wanted no one to discipline him, don't touch him, don't do this, don't do that, blah, 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 blah. It really just raised the monster. And, and and that's what we're dealing with. And I speak from personal experience that we're dealing with this because a lot of the people that are having these children, they're having them for selfish reasons to validate their self or to become parents or to force their self into responsibility or whatever the case may be. And, and or maybe my era, we're our my, how about this? No, I'm just saying, I'm how just about saying this? from my era, most that, of the women, no, I'm just saying from my, from my era, most of the women – that were having babies young, they learned it from their mom because their mom was getting welfare checks, Section 8, et cetera, and they figured, hey, if I have a baby, I can attain the same thing that my mom is doing too, and I think I'm a better mom than my mom is. So they have children. 